Hello and today I'm drawing with a different pen this time. Instead of using my fancy Lamy Safari or the fancy Nilus Ahab or the expensive roaching isographs, I have this pen that I picked up at Walmart a couple months ago and I haven't done any drawing with it yet and so I figured, you know, why not? I've got this pen setting around that I bought and I only spent $5 on it. The paper that I'm drawing on is cardstock paper from Walmart and I've got like 2,000 sheets of that paper it's gonna take so long to get all those filled in I think the quickest way to do that is with my big sharpies because you got bigger lines and you can fill things in a lot quicker but things are going pretty good um, this morning I make myself some coffee and then I made myself some yellow squash some zucchini squash and then after that, I'm going to do some doodles. I've been doing more drawing with my orchard isographs, more so than anything recently, but occasionally I have this creative idea where I want to just use a different type of pen or maybe use some colored ink. Um, but I did have a, a friend that let me use their clear fountain pen, and I'll be uploading a video of that doodle soon as well. But yeah, things have been going pretty good, trying to keep myself cool in my apartment. I I was laying in bed last night, and I had my air conditioner on. And I was like, why is it getting so hot in here? And then I rolled over after I'd slept for four hours already, and I looked, and it was on fan mode instead of cold mode. And so then I turned it back over to the little flake on it, and I put it on cool and then it cooled down in here, and then it felt good. But um, it's been getting pretty hot recently. I think last week it was in like the high 70s and the low 80s, but now it's been getting in the high 80s, whereas like the temperature feel outside is like in the low to mid 90s, which is which is pretty hot for where I live. And um, it's kinda, kinda hard to keep my apartment cool. But I've, I've got this curtain set up in between the rooms, and this kinda blocks all the hot air out and leaves a cool air in here like my kitchen is always so hot because of my gas stove but I mean it's nice in the winter but not so good in the summer to have that but um I, I started cooking on my this little electric skillet that I have so that it doesn't get so hot in here and I actually find it a lot more efficient and faster to cook on that than using my gas stove because well for one it uh, heats up the room way too much and the electric skillet seems to cook things a lot quicker. Um, I, I think the reason for that is because my iron skillet is doesn't. I don't have like a top for it, like a lid, so all the hot air is just coming out. And the skillet I have like has this little glass top that I put on it, so it keeps all the steam and everything inside of it, so it just stays hotter, faster, and longer. And so it's a lot more efficient at cooking vegetables. It keeps them nice and juicy rather than being all dry. I've, I've cooked some meat, like chicken and stuff in that skillet, the iron one. And they don't really turn out that juicy. They're, they're pretty dry. So I've been using the electric skillet for that. But most of the drawings I've been doing um, recently has been in my Pentalo sketchbook. Lots of roaching isograph doodles. I've got a bunch of those videos I have to edit and upload. It's a 6x4 inches, 70 pound um, paperweight, 110 sheets of paper. I only draw on one side of the paper because I want to be able to scan them, but we're at about 70% through with this sketchbook, and I will do a sketchbook review what I think of it, and we can take a look at my drawings. And uh, this is a hardbound sketchbook, so that's what I like about that too. And I have like this little rubber band that I put on it. Kind of holds the, the pages back on one side when I'm drawing so they're not in the way. But yeah. Um, probably going to do some more drawing in my moleskin sketchbooks. They're not as many pages, but the pages are a lot bigger. Like all of them are. And so it takes way longer. Like my Pentalo sketchbook, I'd finish a drawing an hour. Whereas my moleskin takes six to eight hours to finish each page. Because... There's so much more details you can add with a piece of paper that's, you know, about, uh, 
I'd say three times as big, maybe three or four times as, as large of an area, but but yeah, things are going pretty good. Uh, I feel like I'm improving at my drawing. I uh, I feel like I do a lot better if, if I just I just start drawing things, just, just start making some lines, and not really worrying about trying to make everything perfect and you know, worrying about the end goal. Just start drawing, and I think a lot of times, you know, when you when you try to draw, you want to make everything perfect, and you know that, that that's understandable. But I think if you just start doodling things and just Start being more creative and just let the ink flow. I find that I create more art and art faster and I actually improve at a quicker rate because I'm not so worried about trying to make things a certain way how other people are creating. I'm just finding my own style and finding things that work for me. And I'm having fun in the process so I learn a lot quicker. But yeah, I've got a lot of sketchbooks to fill. Lots of sheets of paper to draw on and fill, and I think the fastest way to fill up the sheets of paper is to use my sharpie, like the, like the really big sharpies. Um, bigger lines, you can fill in things quicker. But I started doing that in some some of my drawings in my Pentalic sketchbook. I started using a sharpie to fill in the white area in the paper. It's like the background, kind of make it more contrasted looking and uh, more interesting because a lot of my drawings just have. A lot of like blank areas in it that could be filled in, but I, I just filled in with a sharpie then. But um, yeah, I, I've rearranged some stuff on my desk, like my new camera setup and everything. Um, it's a little bit different, but I'll do a studio tour that is coming week and show everybody how it looks, um, how I have it set up, why I have it set up that way, and um, what cameras I use and how I record and all that stuff. But um, I, I think it'll be quite a long video. Um, Especially considering all the different cameras I have, like my DSLR, my camcorder, my action camera, my two different webcams, and um, it sure is a contraption of stuff. And there's a lot of wires behind my computer. There are a lot of wires. There's so many wires. Like, I'm looking at all the wires now. I can only see half of them because the other ones are hidden behind my monitor, but still, there are hundreds of wires back there. But um, that's one reason why I took the wire that's for my microphone and I have it coiled around the boom pole that is for my microphone. I think this cord is like 20 feet long and it's like wrapped around the uh, microphone pole and it's still like 8 feet long now. But before it was a big mess because I, I was so confused of which wire is what but I think after a while of messing with all of them so long I just know which wire is what by the, the length of it and the color, slight color differences. but. I mean, all the, color, the cords are pretty much all black. I think there's only like two cords that aren't black, and there, well, maybe three. There's like an internet cord and like the cord for my mouse and keyboard, and that's pretty much it. All the other cords are black, so they're all like just look like all the cords are the same. So it can, it can be confusing sometimes, but but yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go finish eating my zucchini and yellow squash and then I'm gonna go drink my coffee and get started on my day and doing some doodles and everything so look forward to getting those done and showing you all what it looks like so you have fun creating keep on creating and doodling whatever it is that you uh, like to doodle with and what sketchbook and pen do you like to use when you're doodling I would say my favorite is a virtual isograph I, I have some weeks to where I prefer one pen and then another week I prefer another Maybe maybe I should do like a video of like pen of the week or maybe pen of the month or something. I think that would be uh, something new I could do with that would be interesting. But yeah, just let me know what pens you like to use and what sketchbooks. And um, maybe there's some I haven't tried yet. Now give them a try. I might might find something I like. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go do some doodles and try to stay cool. But uh, you have a good day and. I'll see you later. Thank you.